Why splurge on new when you can infuse personality into what you already own? Hi, I'm artist Marcy Ziv on a creative journey as we breathe new life into our kitchen vinyl stools. Let's dive into the art of transformation and make those chairs uniquely yours. But that's not all. We're not stopping at a mere facelift. I'll show you how to stencil the back of the chairs with a word of inspiration. Imagine every meal surrounded by positive vibes and motivation. It's a personalized touch that turns ordinary seating into inspiring haven. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to give your stools a really good wipe down. Clean surfaces ensure that the paint is going to adhere really well and with uniformity. Now these are in my kitchen, so you know, and I know, that they have really gotten some serious dirt and grime. Even though they might look clean, they're really not that clean at all. And you're gonna see what I'm talking about in a second. Yeah, now you can see what kind of grime comes off that, right? Now's the fun part of choosing your paint color. Okay, yes, this is more traditional because my chairs are white. I'm sticking to the white. It's just going to be the shade of white that is going to be decided today. Now, of course, your selection is to your personal preference. You could do a pop of color that completely resonates and complements your own space. And that's what it's all about. I'm gonna take these and put them up to my stools to see which one I like better. I laid out heirloom traditions, bone, coliseum, and linen paint next to each other on my chairs. This is an all-in-one paint, which means it's a primer, paint, and top coat all-in-one. Let's dive into the painting here. You're gonna wanna apply your chosen color in a very even manner, even coverage, and you wanna get into those nooks and crannies Pay particular, see how that could easily be left behind like that and stick together if you didn't get all that paint out. You gotta make sure that it's brushed in there, not leaving the big globs, you know, you gotta, you can feel it, you can see it. pay particular attention to this area where there was some type of uh, color saturation with jeans, some kind of dye transfer or something from somebody's pants, and I could not get it out. And this, of course, had that, it looked like it was peeling. It wasn't peeling, but it looked like it was, was separating. And it was nice coverage here. paint this one next. I had some serious reservations about how that was going to turn out, but I gotta tell you, ooh, wow. Get into those crevasses. see those brush strokes so we want to take our foam roller and simply run this over the painted area beautiful that actually looks pretty good I do see a small area here that may be needing a little bit of touch up, but the rest of the dye transfer area looks pretty good, but we'll know more when it is dry. Now 
Okay, let's take a look at what we have. This is looking really good. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to need a little bit more tension as well as this one over here, to be expected. It was in pretty rough shape. And that one as well, it's gonna need more attention. Okay, let's move on. Both challenge chairs look amazing now. They did take five coats of paint in that one specific area. They look great. That was the dye transfer. And this was the one that was separating over in the corner and it looks amazing. While our two challenge chairs are drying, we're gonna move on to stenciling the rest of the chairs. This is something I picked up and I don't even know where I got it. Honest to gosh, I was in my studio the other day and I found this and I thought, wow, this is gonna be really nice on the back of our new painted chairs, our little stools. And I feel like it's going to give a little, kind of a hint of just fun and creativity to the chairs, a little lightheartedness to the kitchen. Here we go. We're gonna put out some paint. I am gonna use Angelus Metallic Gold. I was thinking of gold leaf and then I decided against it. I may even go with that, I don't even know, but right now we're gonna put a little bit of paint on a cottage cheese top and I'm using a pouncer. I'm just gonna go tap, 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 I'm gonna wipe most of this off. Uh, I have a tendency to be a little too heavy handed on my stenciling, but we'll see how this goes. You can always paint over it, right? And let's eyeball. I think we're gonna do gratitude. And we're gonna put that, I think, is what I think is the center. It looks to be about the center, right here. Okay. I'm just gonna hold this in place. And there you have it, all thanks to the power of creativity and a touch of inspiration. If you found this video helpful, or if you have your own creative ideas to share, don't forget to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your projects and your experiences. Subscribe for more artistic adventures, and let's continue inspiring each other. Until next time, keep creating, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep making your space truly yours. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I grabbed a new shirt that I purchased at Costco, clipped the tags off, and sticking a piece of cardboard in between the two layers of fabric, I took the full stencil and the same gold paint and made myself a nice new shirt, which, as a matter of fact, I wore to book club that night an hour later after heat setting it with my hair dryer. So there you go, bonus. It looked super stylish, super cute, with a pair of boots and some jewelry. This is Marcy Ziv signing off. Happy creating and may your surroundings always reflect the vibrant masterpiece that is you.